Hello dear students. In today's class we will understand the prose Mauritius written by R.K. Lakshman. First we'll know what Mauritius is. Mauritius is a very small island country in the Indian Ocean located off the eastern coast of Africa. What is an island? An island is a piece of land surrounded by water. You have already learnt about islands. Mauritius is an island in the Indian Ocean. The author R.K. Lakshman describes an island Mauritius in the prose. Mauritius is a travelogue by R.K. Lakshman. What is travelogue? Travelogue is a film, book or illustrated lecture about the places visited by or experiences of a traveller. When we visit some places, we have a lot of experiences to share with others. Isn't it students? In the same way, R.K. Lakshman visited Mauritius and he describes all his experiences travelling to Mauritius. The travelogue Mauritius was drawn from his book Idle Hours. Let's know about the author R.K. Lakshman. Students, when we hear the name of R.K. Lakshman, we remember the famous Indian writer R.K. Narayan. So, what is the connection, relation between R.K. Lakshman and R.K. Narayan? Yes, you are right. R.K. Narayan is an elder brother of R.K. Lakshman. About the author R.K. Lakshman His full name is Rasipuram Ayer Lakshman was born in Mysuru on 24 October 1921 in a Tamil Hindu Brahmin family. His father was a headmaster and Lakshman was the youngest of eight children, six sons and two daughters. R.K. Lakshman was an Indian cartoonist, illustrator and humorist. He started his career as a part-time cartoonist working mostly for local newspapers and magazines. He is best known for his creation, The Common Man and for his daily cartoon strip. R.K. Lakshman got many awards. Padma Bhushan, 1973 Ramon Magsese Award for Journalism, 1984 Padma Vibhushan, 2005 Lifetime Achievement Award for Journalism, 2008 Pune Pandit Award, 2012 He died on 26 January 2015, aged 93 in Pune, Maharashtra. Let's see what are the experiences of R.K. Lakshman travelling to Mauritius. Please open your textbook students, page number 22. First paragraph. The world atlas I have with me has many little dots and specks which have really nothing to do with the world or geography. It is an old one and time, the weather and generations of cockroaches have put them there. So, it was with some difficulty that I was able to locate Mauritius in the vastness of the Indian Ocean. It is a tiny speck of an island situated below the equator on the 20th parallel some 4500 km southwest of Bombay. Here, I refers to the writer R.K. Lakshman. The writer had an old outdated atlas with him. It had dots and specks on it. Specks means a tiny spots or dots. It was very old and not in good condition due to the weather and cockroaches. If we keep our books or papers unused in one place for a long time, it gets damaged due to weather or eaten by cockroaches. Similarly, the writer's atlas is in very bad condition that it was very difficult for him to locate Mauritius in the vastness of the Indian Ocean in his atlas. Vastness means huge. So, the writer says it was very difficult to find out the place Mauritius 
in huge Indian Ocean in his atlas. Finally, with difficulty, he was able to locate it. He states that Mauritius is a tiny speck of an island, a very small spot, a little portion of an island situated below the equator. What is an equator? The equator is a circle of latitude that divides a spheroid such as earth into the northern and southern hemispheres. On the 20th parallel means it's a circle of latitude that is 20 degrees south of the earth equator that is below the equator. Some 4500 kilometer southwest of Bombay. The writer says the distance between southwest Mumbai to Mauritius is 4500 kilometer. Mauritius is a tiny speck of an island situated below the equator on the 20th parallel some 4500 kilometer southwest of Bombay. Now please look at second paragraph. Our aircraft is bearing us towards it. Through the occasional gloss in the clouds, I glimpse the ocean spread like a bluish grey steel sheet. There are acres and acres of cloud below me having all sorts of funny shapes in an odd abstract way. Curiously, they resemble figures in the ancient legends of China, Rome, Greece, India and what have you. Please look at meanings of new words. Bearing, carrying, gloss, shine, glimpse, quick look or brief look. Moving on to the explanation. In the second paragraph, the writer set out his trip to Mauritius. He says, his trip to Mauritius was a fascinating experience. While he was in an aeroplane, he couldn't wait to see what was underneath the moving aeroplane. He says, the ocean below him looks like a bluish grey steel sheet. He compares the huge ocean to a bluish grey steel sheet. He also wonders to see acres and acres of clouds which means large amount of clouds and also to see the funny shapes of clouds below him. He imagines the shapes of clouds as they resemble figures in the ancient legends of China, Rome, Greece and India. Students, when you look at the clouds in the sky, you imagine different shapes of your own like rabbits, horse, human face, chariot, mountains, etc. In the same way, the writer imagines funny shapes of clouds. Not everyone has the same idea when looking at the clouds. Here, what about the writer? He imagines the clouds as they resemble figures in the ancient legends of China, Rome, Greece, India and what have you. What have you means things like that. Now please look at third paragraph. I cannot help drawing a comparison, albeit ridiculous and rather far-fetched, between my vague observations at 10,000 meters watching the clouds and what I learn of Mauritius later. This tiny island has an astonishingly similar variety, strange juxtapositions, incongruities, odd mixtures of race and language. Please look at meanings of new words. Albeit, although, ridiculous, stupid to be laughed at or silly, far-fetched, very unlikely to be true and difficult to believe, vague, not clearly expressed or described. Tiny, very small. Astonishingly, very surprising. Juxtaposition, the fact of putting things that are not similar next to each other. Incongruities, out of place, absurd or inappropriate. Moving on to the explanation. 
third paragraph, the writer says he cannot help drawing a comparison, although it was silly and difficult to believe, between his unclear observations at 10,000 meters watching the clouds. Which means, the writer who is sitting inside the plane, looking at the clouds, creating his own imagination about Mauritius. After he reaches the place Mauritius, he is surprised to know about similar variety, strange juxtapositions, means the people of different race and languages are living together, incongruities, means inappropriate, and odd mixture of race and language. The writer is very much surprised to see the people of different countries, race and languages living together in this island. Now please look at fourth paragraph. Here, Africans and Chinese, Biharis and Dutch, Persians and Tamils, Arabs, French and English all rub shoulders merrily with one another and emerge with the peculiar sense of oneness. A Tamil, for instance, bears a deceptively South Indian face and a name to go with it to boot. Radha Krishna Govindan is indeed from Madras. I speak to him in Tamil. He surprises me by responding in a frightfully mangled English with a heavy French accent. Mr. Govindan has no knowledge of Tamil and his tongue has ceased curling to produce Tamil sounds centuries ago. Please look at meanings of new words. Rub shoulders is an idiom which means mingle with or mix with. Emerge, come out. Peculiar, strange. Deceptively, making you believe something that is not true or misleading. Moving on to the explanation. When the writer arrives Mauritius, he is very happy and excited to experience a whole new world and people. He is amazed to see how people from the different origin live merrily. People of different origins found in Mauritius are Africans and Chinese, Biharis and Dutch, Persians and Tamils, Arabs, French and English, all interacted harmoniously and emerged with the sense of unity. He also gives an instance of a person from Madras, Tamil Nadu, India named Radha Krishna Govindan. When the writer speaks to him in Tamil language, surprisingly, he responds in English with French accent. Another surprising fact is that, even though he is from Tamil Nadu, he did not have knowledge of Tamil. It seems like his tongue has ceased. His tongue has stopped to produce Tamil sounds centuries ago. Century means a period of 100 years. Dear students, in today's class we have understood first part of the prose Mauritius written by R.K. Lakshman. Let me ask you a few questions to know how much you have understood. First one, where is Mauritius? Mauritius is a tiny speck of an island situated below the equator on the 20th parallel some 4500 km southwest of Bombay. Second one, name the people of different origins found in Mauritius. The people of different origins found in Mauritius are Africans, Chinese, Biharis, Dutch, Persians, Tamils, Arabs, French and English. Next one, fill in the blanks. 
First one, the dash the writer had with him had many little dots and specks. Answer is World Atlas. Second one, the prose Mauritius is written by Dash. Yes, R.K. Lakshman. Third one, the name of the man from Madras whom the writer spoke to is Dash. Yes, Mr. Radha Krishna Govindan. Fourth one, the meaning of the word albeit is dash. Yes, albeit means although. I hope you all have answered correctly. Well done students. Now, I am going to end up this class. We will meet you in the next class with the second part of the prose Mauritius written by R.K. Lakshman. Bye for now. Thank you. Have a nice day.